Hello again everybody and welcome back to my workshop and in this video I am delighted yet again to present to you another of Dave McQueenie's gorgeous apps for the Jetty Radio. This one is Dial Display App and so what we see on screen here is what you might put uh, on your displayed telemetry for the model. Um, some double size boxes because double size records the lowest and highest value that was reached during the session as well as the uh, current value which is rather handy to have but you can have at most three of them because Jetty always reserves uh, this box here for their bits and pieces and you just have to watch the numbers there wouldn't it be nice if you could have all four boxes and a nice pretty dial to watch rather than just the numbers well you can with the new dial display app for example let's move on to this page we have four dials showing the current the rpm the temperature of the speed controller and the temperature of the beck and if i move them you'll see what happens i'll open the throttle up you'll see the dials move the temperatures won't really move they'll stay where they are pretty much the current will move and the revolutions will move you'll see there is a yellow bar right across the arc that shows the highest point that the needle reached and on this one you'll see there is a white bar partially across the arc and a yellow bar partially across the arc they are user settable um, high and low warning points if you go above the yellow one or below the white one the number showing the current value will turn red so it'll turn black when it's in between those oh let's put a little bit of current through the model There we are. I've set silly limits on this just because I don't want to rev the thing up to maximum in the workshop. So it's fairly small currents and RPMs. And the app allows you two displays. You could simply replace one of these with one of these. And that's all it does. Uh, or you can have uh, a couple of complete pages like this uh, in which you can have four dials you can have one massive dial covering the whole screen you can have three dials which would be a large one on the left and two small on the right or a large one on the right and two small on the left or you can have two medium size or largish dials and they don't have to be the pointer style of dial with a needle you can choose um, just the arc so the arc color will move uh, you can choose a bar graph. You can choose uh, a line graph that is moving through time. So pretty much the same things again. Current, RPM, this time power. Uh, let's have a look at what they look like. And the bar chart constantly moves through time. But you can see the arc one just moves an arc. And the bar chart moves nicely. And if you've watched a number of my videos, you will have heard me say on quite a number of occasions that uh, it's my belief you should never take your eyes off the model. You should never be looking down at displayed telemetry whilst you're flying. Because this transmitter can tell you it will speak to you everything you need to know there is no excuse for taking your eyes off the model so why do i think that this pretty display is so handy well imagine uh, that this wasn't for an electric model but we had the telemetry from your gas turbine and you've got here the temperature gauge the uh, rpm gauge the pump uh, pulse width or voltage and your main battery voltage for examples and you can watch those in a much more pretty way than just three 
uh, boxes of numbers like that. You can get four of them up and they can be the style that you want. And you could put in uh, little markers for um, under revving, over revving, over temperature, especially during startup. Or if you're just setting up your electric model and you want to check on the wattage and amperage it's pulling, a bit nicer maybe to see the the graphs, dials going around. You've still got exactly the same numbers. You've got the uh, current value that's pulling through and the highest and lowest values. So you're not short of anything. So I will put a link in the description box below. It's a web link as uh, if you've never... Uh, got any of Dave's apps before what you do is you copy that web link don't go to the page just copy it go into Jetty Studio go into file configuration uh, a box will come up along the top of the box there's a couple of tabs one of them is called app sources click on the app sources tab and then in the box there choose a new line and paste that web link in that will then allow you to see all of Dave's apps uh, it's called dial and then of course you go to applications uh, user applications add it in its dial display how do you set it up well, you come in here and uh, the first thing you choose is what sort of layout do you want you're allowed two of them do you want <coughs> pardon me just a, a, a single, on its own, double box. And this would uh, just take the place of a, an ordinary jetty displayed telemetry double size box. Uh, it can be the full screen with two large dials in it, uh, three dials in it, the big one on the right, the big one on the left, the full screen that you've seen here, which is four of them, or a full screen chart. Remember we saw one of the, the um, dials I had up was the, the chart showing the moving display. You can change it to be a full screen chart with four parameters on it. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. Very pretty. Um, somebody will find a use for it. So you can set up your two screens or boxes. Choose the the style you want they don't have to be the same they can be different then press the edit button here and this is where you choose what the parameters are uh, not parameters what telemetry sensor you want in it sensor one two three four each of the boxes they can of course be the same ones but with different presentations on them and then again you press the edit button to go into it and choose what style you want. You've got the arc, the needle, the bar or the chart. Uh, you set a minimum displayed value. You set a maximum displayed value. So for instance if you're doing an electric model which you know pulls 50 amps you might set uh, a minimum of zero and a maximum of 55 or 60 amps. It's up to you to choose. Um, if you're doing your gas turbine, you might want it to uh, RPM to go from zero to, let's say, 160,000 RPM. Um, it won't let you go up to a maximum displayed value of 160,000. It will only go up to 999. So you choose 160 and then come to the multiplier and choose 1,000. Then it will go give you the 160,000. Same with the minimum displayed value. Should you want something other than zero, um, you can set it there and set a multiplier for it. Okay, the minimum warning value and the maximum uh, warning value were those two partial lines I showed you across the arc. If the value goes above the maximum warning value or below the minimum warning value, then the number that shows you what the current value is turns red smoothing value for the chart if you're really into that sort of thing uh, i've got to be honest i don't really know what it does uh, but dave's very good at programming these things in and that's basically it I'll go back down here so there you are you can choose those styles 
Okay. What we'll do is convert that one now to the uh, four line chart version. So we edit it. No, no, I don't want that one. I want the full screen chart with four parameters there. It'll keep the four parameters we've put in, puts them all in as lines now. And there we are. So we'll start pushing some current through it. pretty stuff really so as you can see folks a most enjoyable little app um, do have fun with that